Praise the Lord. Good evening. This is Prophetess Kim King with your word on the go. Um, I know that this is dark. I am heading home from the uh, powerful service and I wanted to take a moment <clears throat> um, and talk about spiritual homelessness. Spiritual homelessness. God put that in my spirit. He said that there are many believers, many uh, in the body of Christ who are spiritually homeless. What does that mean? It means when a person is homeless, they have no stability. <clears throat> they have no uh, roots. They have no foundation. They have no real place to lay their head. They are wandering here and there. They are picking up uh, food, eating out of trash cans. <clears throat> And they're eating things, doing whatever they can to survive. And God says some of us is the same thing in the spirit. We are spiritually homeless. We're picking up word wherever we can get it. We're going here and there and we're eating from everybody's table. And it has caused spiritual contamination because everybody's food is not meant for us to eat. You're wandering from church to church. You're wandering from place to place. Your spirit is not at rest because there's a tug of war with the enemy and your flesh what to do, whether you should do this or do that, between right and wrong, between God's ways and your own way. Some of us are spiritually homeless. I'm not talking about a physical locale, but I'm talking about the state of your spirit. You have no rest. You have no peace. You are in turmoil all the time because you have not submitted and totally yielded yourself to the Holy Spirit, to the power of God, to walk in His laws and statutes the way He ordained for your life and as a result you are spiritually homeless and uh, sin has crept in and there is just like when a person is outside uh, um a homeless person in the natural sleeping outside they don't have the proper facilities to clean themselves up and God said it's the same thing when you're spiritually homeless there's a stench from the sin that is reeking and coming out of you and it's, it, it smells it does not have a pleasant aroma because you have not washed yourself with the word of God so you are not clean now we're not talking about being perfect we're talking about striving to uh, do the will of God and live in according to and walking in obedience according to his purposes and plans for your life God said you're spiritually homeless some of us don't have a church home some of us don't have a covering if we're in our own ministry you are spiritually homeless you have no covering. You have no roots. You have no foundation. And there was a parable about the seeds being sown and some grew on thorns and some uh, were immediately blown away. And God said it's the same thing with us spiritually. We are homeless. Some of us, the uh, word is not taking root in us because we're spiritually homeless. We are not grounded. We are not rooted. We are like a wandering nomad. We're just going all around here and there and everywhere. We're in everybody's lottie dottie and everybody's business and uh <clears throat> God says we have to take root. We have to get settled. We must be established. We must be like a tree planted by the rivers that we will not be moved. We can't be tossed to and fro like every like the wind that blows. Uh, we have to be settled. We can't. We come against spiritual homelessness in the name of Jesus. Some of us are spiritually homeless because we're out of covenant. You haven't paid your rent. You haven't paid your tithes and offerings the way God ordained. Or, or for that covenant and you're out of covenant. Some of us are spiritually homeless because you haven't obeyed the rules uh, which is the word of God from your landlord who is King Jesus and therefore you've been served an eviction notice. My God. But God said tonight we can combat spiritual homelessness in the name of Jesus by coming back into right relationship with him. By coming into covenant with him. By doing those things his laws and statutes, his words obeying, walking up right before him. If you don't have a church home, find a church home. If you are in leadership and you don't have anybody you're accountable to, you need to find covering because you too are spiritually homeless. And how can you help anyone else spiritually if you yourself are homeless? You can't help anybody. You must first get yourself together. So this is what God spoke to me about spiritual homelessness. It can be uh, uh, combated. It can be overcome. And for those of you who don't know Jesus in the pardoning of your sins, 
Jesus welcomes you with open arms. He wants to welcome you into his kingdom. See, when we are part of the kingdom of God, we're never spiritually homeless. When we accept him as Lord and Savior, we become a part of his kingdom, and therefore we have a place. Jesus is our shelter. Jesus is our refuge. So tonight, this is what God spoke in my spirit. Um, that we need to really, all of us, pastors, leaders, lay people, believers and non-believers, it's time to come into the fold. If you're in the fold, if you've accepted Jesus and you've gone astray or you've backslidden, it's time to get things right with God. We can't slip to and fro. We can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the church because you're spiritually homeless as well. God said he will spew the lukewarm out of his mouth tonight. We thank God that when we belong to him and we walk up right before him, that we are not spiritually homeless, but he indeed is our father. He indeed is our shelter and our refuge and our ever-present help in time of trouble. Have a blessed night. Give God glory in all you do, and we'll see you back real soon.